Hi everybody. Um, I thought today I could do an everyday makeup look. So I got the light set up, I got a little table set up so that the camera was at the right height and everything. And then I did my makeup stage by stage and then I realised I forgot to turn the camera on to record. However, I've just come to edit the footage and found that I had pressed record and it had just come to the end and I actually managed to get in everything that I did. So I'm going to cobble together the edits now. <laughs> what a fail. <laughs> So that's stage one, I've got the top part of my hair clipped up and I've dried the bottom. I think the other day when I dried it I curled it too much and it just looked weird with my fringe cut a bit. I cut it really badly, I need a haircut really. But you know, as you know, I'm a bit of a low maintenance girl. Right, next stage. To start with, I use a day cream. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> I don't know. I might film that bit afterwards. Um, it's Nivea Q10 um, anti wrinkle cream, which I've been using for years, um, and it's got SPF 15. Um, and this is a new one. It says energizing day cream, and it's got an orange lid, whereas it was always white before. I don't know if there's any difference really. My friend that works at Olay is not going to be pleased <laughs> but it was really cool because uh, the other week we went out with him uh, for his birthday. I vlogged that actually, it was in uh, Kew Gardens and the guy at the front, when they were all in the mosh pit at the front, the, the guy on the stage was saying is it anybody's birthday and uh, he and Ben were up in the, the mosh pit and he went, yes, it's my birthday, I'm 50. And the guy said, wow, you look good for your age. You must have been using oil of Ole. <laughs> and he was so thrilled because he actually works for Ole. And I think he works on the kind of uh, SPS side. He's like one of the top kind of chemical people. He's actually been on, what's the guy's name? Gok One. He's actually been on Gok One's program to do with SPF and sun protection etc but it's like one of the top chemical engineers or something anyway so sorry sorry Paul <laughs> I'm using Nivea um, then um, my foundation is Clinique so that's about the only apart from Nivea kind of brand uh, that I'm bothered about um, because I just went through trying lots and lots of different foundations so now I always get Clinique and I have number four for my skin colour. It's super balanced makeup. Super balanced makeup. So, can you see it? <laughs> I won't keep doing that. And then I use Clarins Eclat Minute. Minute? I don't know whether I'm pronouncing things French or Portuguese these days. And that's what I use for my. Can you see it? No, it's all blurry. <laughs> um, for under my eyes and any kind of those old lady big brown spots what are they called liver spots how horrible what horrible name and then what did i do oh yes i used this eye pencil i think it's rimmel i don't know it's all worn off because i use it every day and it has is that just like a, a coal eye pencil -y thing and i don't like it too sharp because I like it to be more smudgy because I'm old. I can't have everything crisp lines because it shows all the wrinkles. But it's got this really cool kind of smudgy, spongy thing on the end. So you can blend it in even more. And then I've got a super cheap um, set of brushes. Not some special name, I think it's just Boots. Yeah, Boots brushes. It's probably got one missing, but these are the ones that I use. Um, I sometimes use the lip one if I've got quite a strong lip colour. Um, I sometimes use this one if I'm doing an evening look um, for like a dark browner kind of shadow but use it more like a, a liner but I don't use that for my everyday look which I'm doing now and this um, soft round brush I do use after I've used this eye pencil 
um, I then blend it in a little bit with that. Then I use this Revlon palette. That's what I'm using at the moment. I don't particularly stick to one brand. When I run out of eyeshadow, I just go and find another one. And it's got those colours in it, which are really my colours. This green goes quite well with my eyes. Again, I don't really wear that. Um, I don't wear it every day. I might wear it if I've got something green on or I just want a bit more colour. But normally I just use this brown and I just add that to the kind of eyeliner. And then um, sometimes, probably three out or seven days, I will put this kind of gold stuff on as well, which I have done today, just, just to make things look a bit more glam. That's that, I just kind of blend it in with my fourth finger, which is apparently the softest one, softest touch, it's the least strong. Depends how much piano practice you do though, doesn't it? <laughs> then I used Lash Adapt number seven, which is boots again, because we've got boots in Cobham, so <laughs> that's where I get all my makeup. Um, and I usually buy stuff when Darcy wants to buy things, so I think, oh, I might as well buy something to do. Um, this one is Lash Adapt. Shaky hand, why's my hand shaking? Too much coffee. Can you see it? Can you see it? Um, for buildable volume, but I just, couple of, couple of swipes of that. I'm just so not really a makeup person. And again, I've got quite a few number seven boots lipsticks of varying shades of the same colour. <laughs> And this one is, it's called Bare, so it's kind of darker skin colour. And then sometimes I will put a little kind of lip pumpy gloss, lip gloss on the top, which I've used. And this one, I don't know what this is, Bourgeois. That's another super cheap thing from Boots. <laughs> and it's 3D. And I think they do it by putting chilli in it or something like that. Kind of makes your lips sting a bit. That's it. Oh no, I've got this Dream Touch Blush. I don't know who that's by. Maybelline. Yeah, all the cheapo ones. <laughs> yeah, so I just put that on my cheeks there. That's it. because he was filming out the window and dropped it. Yeah, it smashed. <laughs>